What up, though, y'all? This is Ami with the Real Visual Outlet, and it's always beside me. So so. And today we have a special guest on the show with us. Yep, your boy Fresh Boy Trail, man. Real East Side, seven mile in the bill. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Tell us your social media and uh, where you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Freshboy underscore trail, Facebook Freshboy Trail, and Twitter Trail13. Alright, you already said you're from Seven Mile. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, Eastside. Eastside, <laughs> tell us what it was like growing up over there. Uh it was I wanna say it was kind of fun basically because we like we was rowdy back then to now this generation so messed up we didn't already did everything they did but they worse than us so it was kind of hard growing up but you just got to be strong it come you know what come with it why did that everybody that you know you hear from the east side they always be from like seven mile uh, seriously though know. i can't speak for everybody but me i'm really like it's different parts of seven mm -hmm. mile like for me i'm from 48205 so that's the red zone mm -hmm. so rossini so i can't speak for everybody but basically seven mile where is that that's yeah because i just say that because like we interviewed someone else you know that's from the east side and they was from seven mile i you know from the east side i'm from seven miles so i just yeah. think it's just funny like oh, yeah, no, that's, that's like the central say, part yeah. right Why there seven mile, <laughs> seven mile better mile right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now did you go to king because i was looking through your instagram and stuff no i just know a lot of people from king. king okay yeah i was looking through your instagram and i saw just a whole you kept it from way back then oh yeah got to you got gotta to. show a hey, start the start people yeah. gonna see you started from the mm -hmm. bottom i ain't ashamed because you that's you gotta make it absolutely. somehow mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely so now how how long have you been rapping uh i've been rapping since 2010 but i was just having fun with it at first like i know y'all remember the group fresh boys mm -hmm. like made do the meet and all that i was actually in that, was in that but show. i wasn't rapping back then like when aj and them was rapping i was just like we i told you we was rowdy so we just used to fight and all that so i wasn't rapping back then but i wasn't taking it serious basically i was rapping but not seriously so i started taking it serious i want to say like 2012 and that's when i dropped a mixtape called the memory chip my senior year and that's when all the people at the school was telling me to keep running with it so ever since then i've been running with it mm -hmm. look at you yeah i seen a phrase you say fuck what you heard a lot oh yeah you know, tell us about that why why fuck what you heard you don't you don't really mess with the hearsay because people always in the hype man and it's like if you get on the internet people just believe what the internet say now they don't get no validation in real life so i'm one of them people fuck what you heard come see me in person mm -hmm. you know? i'd rather show you in person than on the internet so Absolutely. yeah fuck what you heard is just a statement of whatever you heard fuck it you so know? let's let's touch on something that i that i've seen on the internet i don't know if this is you but um do you know anybody by the name of what was it yost and conscious at oh, all yeah yeah that was me and okay if you did see that i made the this response to that and you see theirs don't even get 500 views yet man i put it on my mixtapes at first got a thousand downloads in two days and mm. now it's on itunes everywhere spotify all that you can go get it and mm -hmm. yeah they you ain't heard from them they don't even got no shows they soundcloud rappers ain't nothing against soundcloud rappers but they That's just the do it for fun yeah yeah that's the beef and trash. Yup, yeah, so, so I went to school with them. They lame. Okay. <laughs> they lame. Yeah, they lame. Heard your love this, wasn't seeing any facts. You telling people chill, you just want to rap. Cause any real smoke, yeah, your ass up off the map. Have my little cousin tie your ass up in the trap. Or like 50 Cent, we can go get the strap. Knew you had cuz, know you always been whack. Drawing lines in your eyebrows, nigga, what is that? In your sad kick, look, I done shake a fucking fat. I don't condone racism, but let's bring it back. I'ma wear white socks with this fucking hitting hat. They ain't got no videos or shows to even recap. They little career don't even reach my 
Start conflict with you. You no, I ain't heard that happened in September. I ain't heard from him since then. I'm finna actually shoot the video today because that's the second song off my mixtape. So mm -hmm. I ain't heard from him since then, and they music ain't going nowhere. So, okay. so how did that kind of, you know, I guess, All right, start I'm finna there? Tell you. It's <laughs> the silliest shit, man, because. Basically, they was fans of Eminem, and you know Eminem had beef with MGK. Mm -hmm. So they my Facebook friends. So they talking about it on Facebook all day. So me being who I am, I was being funny. Like, man, shut the fuck up talking about that. You feel me? Let it go. Woo. So they got to saying they had killed me on the track and all that, for real. So I wasn't paying them no mind. I'm laughing like, man, I'm not finna play with y'all. So... They, the next day we wake up, they really did made a song, a diss <laughs> song, and people telling me and calling me like, yeah, bro, they dissed you and woo woo. So I heard it. They used the picture of Welvin, so that's why I'm like, all right. So me being me, I went and found real pictures of them and used the real, the trailer trash picture, mm -hmm. the official, I mean, cover for that track. It's day pictures with clown faces painted on it because mm -hmm. they clowns. And from there, you see, we took off. And right. I can still show you till this day, people be writing me like that trailer trash dish where it's at and all that, man. So, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They set they self up for failure. And, and you had to come with it. Always yeah. seven mile with it. <laughs> and then with they this song, they had like an opinionated this with more with me. I was staying facts. Like he was drawing lines in his eyebrows. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Yo, sad kick look out of shape and fat. Like I was going off. <laughs> they was just uh, saying they rap better than me, but mm -hmm. they don't. Okay. You see, they ain't nowhere. <laughs> right, right. Let's get off into you. Um, you got the Jack in for Beats. That's your latest album. All right. Um, tell us about the title and what inspired that project. All right. Jack in for Beats. I actually got that title because Trey Songs did something similar to that. And it's basically how Lil Wayne do his dedications or his no ceilings. I just play with industry beats for real to show people how versatile I am and I added like two songs that I did my own to where it ain't in the industry and to show people like yeah you can be versatile with it and you ain't always got to have Detroit style mm -hmm. to blow up you can do your own thing and be in your own lane and just keep going from there. Okay. So that's what inspired that project. So you you got a track on there it's called Ecstasy. Oh, and, yeah. and say, give me ecstasy, give me that henny, and I'm rapping off the dome is a line that you, I, I'm quoting right now. Um, do you freestyle like off of everything, or like what is your process? No, some your like concept? I write down. I can go like I put down a few words and then freestyle it, or sometimes I write the full song. Like with Trailer Trash, I've had to write that full song. Like I played that beat blue and. From there, I had to tell him, like, yeah, what it was. But, yeah, with that song, that's actually one of the songs I was saying. Like, I put that on there my own. This producer from the Netherlands sent me that beat, and I actually worked with that. I wasn't going to put that out there, but I had to show people, like, yeah, I got a creative side, too, instead of just rapping about, you know, the usual, like, mm -hmm. the hood stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, that's how you attract, you know, a variety of people. Oh, yeah, you always got to branch out and be versatile. I've been mm -hmm. telling people that the same style only get people hot for a certain time. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So what would you say that you do as an artist to make you stand out? Because, you know, the industry is pretty filled right now. A lot of upcoming artists. What would you say that makes you stand out? With me, I just move how I move. Like, everybody be trying to be liked and all this. I don't really care about being liked or none of that. I make music for me and for people that go through what I went through type of stuff. So for me, I just move a different way than artists because most artists want to be at every event and always in the lamb like me. I didn't already did all that, been to Hollywood, all that. So it's nothing to prove basically. So with me, I just move how I, ain't nothing to prove. Like I just proved myself wrong at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Now do you, uh, we see you book for like a lot of performances and stuff like that. What would you say your preparation for each performance and what is some advice that you would give a performer 
Mm -hmm. uh, my preparation is if I go with my friends, you know, we drink pregame, all that, and just have fun and don't be nervous. Like, don't think about it. My advice to you is just go out there, do what got you there. And just look at you get more exposure now. You got to start somewhere. So even if you don't start with a lot of people in the crowd, they going to get more exposure and then you going to get out of here. My fault for stuttering. I'm happy. Now, is that how you prepare for like some of your, you know, create some of your content? Do you need to, you know, go yeah, into you that gotta zone? Smoke cause yeah, you got to smoke because, yeah, we always balance you out to where you get the feeling yourself and you get the same stuff that you wouldn't think of when you're not happy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What's, what's something that you, uh, Sick. right, that you thought of while you was high that was like oh, something this, you would normally say, fine. yeah, uh, if you could remember? Oh, I say balling is a hobby. My attitude cocky. I might fuck around and knock a nigga out like Rocky. Chain as big as the puck from hockey. Nigga, you a goalie. I got on my rollie. Dog ain't no horn me. Can't you pussy nigga see? I been the OG blowing on that cushy. Y'all off the Reggie, so y'all niggas bushing. <laughs> Yeah, I was having it. Right, right. Like, okay. <laughs> Off the ready, y'all bushing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck with it. I like that one. So you've been out, you said, since 2010, but we started taking it serious in 2012. Yeah. So how have you seen your, um, like, yeah, your progression as an artist? Um, since then because at first I ain't had no videos and I was just putting mixtapes out to where like on that piff and stuff This before iTunes and all that so now I got stuff on iTunes and I got more videos to where and I didn't bump shoulders with a few celebrities now to where I got more exposure and people be knowing noticing who I am instead of like more strangers basically like support me more than people I know Mm -hmm. What do you mean bump shoulders with, with celebrities? Because I got a family member that's actually in the league. So he, okay. yeah, you know how that goes. Get your mm -hmm. name out there and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Okay. Okay. So what, do you, what are your thoughts on the Detroit rap scene? You know, how is it? Are, is it easy for you to integrate with it? You know, do they Oh, yeah, you? I know a few, of, like a few of the people that's in the scene. I know them personally. It's just, I want to be different to, instead of like following the hype crowd. I want to take the different route. Like, I could have been got features from Peasy, Dame, all of them. Like, I know them personally, but mm -hmm. it's just you got to take your own route sometimes. And I want to show people you ain't always got to follow them because don't get me wrong, they going to help me out. But I know at the end of the day, I'm going to have to get myself off the porch right. more than anything. They already got a name. So you taking the stairs. You ain't yeah, I ain't taking no elevators. Mm -hmm. Most people taking the elevator, we okay. taking the stairs. So you want to showcase like your true talent, like you as a whole. You want to give them you as opposed to like just features. And, yeah, you know, and then class. when I do features, I do a lot of features with underground artists because I want them to get this more exposure with me. Mm -hmm. Like, opposed to doing it with somebody that's known, and they'll just be like, oh, that's such and such feature. Who is trailing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, no, I do it with underground, so it'll be an even balance. And then the people see, like, who is them, and they'll get to messing with both of our movements okay. at the end of the oh, day. That's right. Yeah. Tell us, do you have any, like, upcoming projects? Oh, yeah. Me and I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with Lucci Val. Lucci Val. Oh yeah, but that's one of my friends, like music and outside of music, but me and him got a collaboration project. We was supposed to drop it March 29th, but something happened, so we looking forward to the summer or past the summer. It's called Prism Fresh, because he got a mixtape called Prism out, mm -hmm. and I'm Fresh Boy Trail, so I just put the fresh in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we already got the album basically done, we just want to like a couple bonus tracks and things like that. And then I got a few EPs dropping. Okay. Now that's what's up. Now I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. How do you get your name? Fresh Boy Trail. Are the group just, Fresh Boys. Fresh like we Boys. Were, yeah, it was a group back then. Yeah. They made do the meat and all that, so Right. Yeah, yeah. I was initially thinking, you know, because you know and then I'd be fresh right, all the time. Saying, oh yeah, that's that's, a, that's another thing. Fresh but... and you had a trailblazer or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my real name Contrail. So Trail, yeah, Contrail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this... In my mind, oh, yeah, but no, some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was the little group though, Fresh Boys, like back then. Everybody mm -hmm. remembers we was mm -hmm. hot, and 
I just kept the name, basically. People was telling me, like, you should change it. Y'all ain't no group no more changing mm -hmm. it. But I'm like, it fit me. I be fresh and, yeah, it fit me. I don't know if you touched on it or not, but why did y'all kind of, like, disband it? Everybody, like, went their own ways. Like, I still talk to a few of them, but it's like it was during the high school era when they was throwing high school parties and things like that so everybody just outgrew it basically mm -hmm. okay like, now is any of those artists like still rapping like that yeah like sean still rap i know you remember you probably remember fresh boy sean mm -hmm. i'm not sure if aj and them still rap but i still talk to them from time mm -hmm. to time but yeah sean still rap but a few of us did fall out, but it's still all love at the end mm -hmm. of the day. We all grown now, so yeah. Okay. Do you have any 2019 goals? Oh yeah, just stay focused, stay focused. Stay focused at the end of the day and keep doing what I've been doing and keep grinding. Okay. And uh, any upcoming shows that you have at all? Uh Yeah, actually, I'm doing this little thing called the Showcase Tour. It ain't until May, May 18th at Club Blue. So I'll send y'all the links and all that to that, and that's the next. Because right now I've been doing like interviews, podcasts, and things like that, promoting the mixtape. So do you have any shout outs you'd like to give? Oh yeah, shout out to the whole hood. <laughs> shout out to my family. Uh, shout out to Lucci, Marzell. That's the same person, I'm tripping. Uh, the Brooks, <laughs> I'm hot, man. Jay Sean, shout out Big Bruh, shout out Cam, and that's it. Seven mile, we here. Eat <laughs> Don't you forget. All right, we want to thank you for coming out to the Real Visual Outlet. Oh, yeah, we wish you much, job. much success in your endeavors and continue your journey, man. Oh, yeah, y'all yeah, appreciate y'all Real Visual Outlet. I ain't really with that talking pistols, get the smoking. So bitch, for she get to walking. Hey, yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't really with that talking. Cause them pistols get the sparking in your bitch pulled up. Got that bitch, I think she talking like a fit. Tell her come and get this dick. You a dumb little prick. Pass the motherfucking song to my nigga Lucy bitch. Hell yeah, we move them bricks like 1017. And you motherfuckers know I'm from the D like red wings. Ain't no joy roll shit. I'm from Seven Mile. Hell yeah, little boy bitch. You a motherfucking home.